Hey, what's going on, Internet? Zyjax here coming at you with another Pokemon Soul Silver. Last time, I got to the uh, Indigo Plateau, and holy crap, who is this right here? Well, that'd be Tundra, obviously, as you can see, you know, down this direction, past <laughs> under the screen. Um, yeah. In my opinion, I was gonna, I was thinking that uh, Nightwish really didn't have a whole lot of advantages against the Elite Four coming up here. Will being a Psychic type uh, is would shred her. Um, and then after that would be Koga. Yeah, I should be immune to it, but I don't, I don't know. She doesn't do one thing. One, I don't think she would do very well. Bruno has a couple of rock type, despite him being a fighting specialist. And then I forget who's after Bruno. I know it's not Lance because he's the champion. Um, but either way, that's also something else that's, that'd be a really good idea too, is just to have, um, to have Tundra here. Who's also an ice type who doubles as a ground type. Well, that's good. So and uh, so I also just got a plan for um, got a plan for the the uh, other uh, Pokemon League that we got to take on after this one because you as you know we're only halfway done. And if you didn't know, well we're only halfway done. Obviously, I mean we got to about level sixty something, uh, sixty or seventy with some of my Pokemon in Fire Red, I think. Um, but obviously these guys are only about forty uh, to forty five. Anyhow, let's go ahead and. Go ahead and start taking on the Elite Four here. And first up is going to be Will. Although I should switch. Whoops. First up, not go to the Pokedex. Um, I need to switch Mystic here. It was a normal type, but whatever. Welcome to the Pokemon League. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Will. I have trained all around the world, making my psychic type Pokemon powerful. And at last I've been accepted into the Elite Four. I can only keep getting better. Losing is not an option. Well, you're gonna lose today. Alright, so the reason I want um the reason I want Mystic out first is just because Mystic is still holding on to the amulet coin. Also, he's got ancient power, but yeah, I kind of figured that would happen. There's darn things. I, you know, I did look at the moves, what they have. Um, if that thing's gonna, that thing's gonna be a real turd and use me first. Probably don't want to be using ancient power right away, because otherwise Mystic will take damage from that, and uh, it's super effective against flying. Not, not a bad hit. Whoops, didn't want to fly again. Crap. All right, well, whatever. We'll finish him off with Ancient Power, assuming he doesn't uh, use me first. And as long as Mystic doesn't hurt himself here. <clears throat> oh, okay, apparently he can use me first. Um, so that means I'm going to miss. Crap. Shoot. Alright, well, we'll use Ancient Power. We'll wait for him to come down after using a Fly. This will probably... Uh, well, okay, wow, that actually did hurt quite a bit. Don't you hit yourself! Thank you! Although there would be a better option to use Starlight or somebody who can probably who's probably got a little bit more type effectiveness and is also a lot stronger. So I just need to Mystic out just to um just to have the amulet coin, because that way we get double money. And I knew Will was gonna do that. The, the Elite Four always do this. So we'll hit him with Thunder. One shot it. Kaboom! And gotcha! Alright. Mystic gets 732. And I went ahead and actually took off the experience share on Wrath, because he's actually probably going to do a pretty good job of actually um, fighting on his own. Although he is a little weak because he is in his base form rather than his any of his evolved forms. And also managed to get um, Signal Beam. Crap, forgot about that move. Um, got Signal Beam for Starlight, so that will also be good against Psychic type. Well, we just need him to wake up. Okay, how bad is this gonna hurt? Okay, not bad. Oh, and I actually woke up right away. Sweet. So yeah, don't have Thunder Wave anymore. That's just really not gonna. I don't think that's really gonna do me a whole lot of good. Although actually, you know what? Probably would have been uh, not a half bad move to keep for Legendaries just to paralyze them. All right, Jinx is down. Good deal. Whoa, look at that XP. There we go. Exactly. Yep. 
just keep him out. Whoop, no, don't send anybody else out. Just keep uh, Starlight out. Use, uh, this is gonna be like a, this will be quad damage here. Although it's not a same type attack bonus here, so no stab bonus. Um, how good is it going to work? All right. Holy crap, I think I just might end up steamrolling my way through, uh, the Elite Four. Maybe, just will, I don't know. We'll, don't need to get, uh, too, uh, too cocky here. All right. Defense is not going, special attack is really good. Slowbro is next. All right, we'll hit it with, um, hit you with thunder. Don't you dare use that, don't you dare use block. Because I know what's coming next after, if he uses block. He's gonna use the front of the freaking fun bro strat. Fun bro strat. <laughs> I did talk about that the the last uh, series. I just thought that the whole strategy itself on Smogon was so funny. Uh, for those that don't know what it is, it's a slow bro with an insane amount of defense. It has block, heal, pulse, uh, recycle, and what else was it? What was that last move? Slack off. Okay. So, yeah, that was it. Basically, the whole idea of the setup was to disallow your opponent to leave, but in just it was basically a troll class. Um, it would just get to a point where like somebody just needs to quit because nobody wins. Um, slack off would allow it to heal itself. Heal pulse would heal the enemy. Um, recycle would allow it to keep using its leperberry that yeah you know, that it had or that it was holding on to, so it could just keep recycling. Uh, the Lepiberry over and over to keep giving itself PP. And then block, obviously, to keep it from leaving. Anyhow. Yep, I beat Will. Next up is Koga. Real quick, should probably do a little healing. I did make sure to get some healing items. We got a quite a few, kind of a few of them. Mystical needs some healing. I think we can... Yeah, just to be on the safe side here, just go ahead and heal. Starlight. And good to go. Calcium will increase special attack. I'm gonna go ahead and give that to Mystic. Just to give a give him a little boost with his extra sensory. Alrighty, next we have Who are you? Whoa! I have a turn! I am Koga of the Elite Four. I live in the shadows of a, a ninja. My intricate style will confound you and destroy you, but haven't I heard your name somewhere before? Uh, no matter. Confusion. Sleep. Poison. Prepare to be the victim of my sinister techniques. <laughs> Pokemon are not nearly about brute force. You shall see soon enough. Actually, I'm not mistaken. He act That's actually his battle style. Is, uh, he does not try to steamroll you. He just tries to wait you out when he poisons you. We got Ardeos here, all right? Never really saw any of those. Are Spinner Act available in Soul Silver? Anyhow. Use extra sensory. All right. <clears throat> How well is it gonna do? It's probably not gonna do. Not gonna one shot it. Nope, didn't think so. <clears throat> All right. Uh, I've seen that move. Okay, okay, that's okay. It's basically like block, mean look, the bug version of it. All right. And Arios is Art. Ar Arios. Ariados is down. All right. I mean, that XP! Oh, that's right, Fortress. Shoot. This thing is kind of an outlier because it's not poison, it's bug and steel. Oh boy. So I'm gonna give Tundra a try here. See if we can't break through his defense here. Too low. Yeah, so we got Earthquake. Yeah, we did a lot. I did a lot of training with Tundra here because. I just, again, I didn't think, uh, I didn't think Nightwish was gonna cut him. Oh, crap. Okay, that's the poison move he has. Alright, give it another... Oh, you jerk. You suck. Um, and you're probably wondering, like, well, ton uh, well, uh, Mammoth Swine isn't a, uh, a, a Johto Pokemon. No, it is not. It's actually, it was introduced in, uh, the fourth, well, it was introduced in fourth gen in the Sinnoh region, but... You can, I mean, obviously you can still acquire it, and you, I mean, legitimately, you can still legitimately acquire it. Um, if you find a heart scale, and there's actually one, it's over by the Magna Rail, I forget what route it was, I think it was 32. If you surf, there's a, there's one of the rocks you can find it, it should be right by the, should be right by the, what was it? 
what do you call it? Basically, the leg of the the rail, the uh, pole, whatever, whatever it is. The support beam. All right, I can't hit you with anything, so I need to change. And this is probably it. nope. Just seems to miss it because he's not affected by poison spikes. But anyway, yeah, there's a rock that's holding a heart scale. Uh, you do have to use a heart scale because you have to teach it ancient power, which it only learns at level one. And obviously, I didn't catch. Uh, Tundra at level uh, 1. I caught it at 23. Ouch. Special events went down. Anyhow. We got freaking Mothra here. Ooh. A little over half. Oh, thank God. Holy crap. Alright. Come on. Gotcha. Alright. All right, Mystic's now 43, just a little bit stronger than before. Wow, 12, 12 experience points. All right, special defense. Wow, that's actually his uh, strongest stat. And Muck. Don't think I've seen any of those this game. Yep, just hit it with extra sensory. Oh, Lord. You're going to survive this? Just barely! Holy crap! Whew! That was a close one. I would prefer not to get hit by that again. When you not get hit by it. Ah, oh, son of a god. Crap! Alright, well, whatever. We're down one Pokemon as opposed to Koga, who's like got. He's lost, what, four so far? No, or I think it was three. Oh, boy. Whoops. Well, hold on. Tundra might be able to do something. Might be able to actually hit it pretty hard. Oh, crap. Okay, just poisoned. I thought it was badly poisoned. I thought maybe it set it down twice. Uh, for, thought the fortress set down toxic spikes down twice. Nope, just once. All right. And... Yeah! Awesome. Another reason I am loving Tundra. Holy crap. Putting in work. Got a Crobat. You know what? I can actually keep Tundra out because guess what? He's also got ice moves too. So I can't hit him with any of the... I, well, I also got... And the uh, also uh, Ancient Power. So really, I can take my pick here. I'm going to use Ice Shard because that's a priority move. Not going to hit very hard, but whatever. It'll be a start. See how well it works. Not bad. I was about quarter health there. Oh, crap. That's going to suck. All right. We'll try Icy Wind. I think that should be a little bit stronger. And it will slow it down. Although it is not a priority move, so I will not be going first. I imagine this Crobat's a lot faster than... Crap! Yeah, see, this is, this is what Koga does. Koga just waits you out. Just gonna keep it spamming a double team to raise evasiveness. Are you kidding me? Come the frick on. You gotta hit it sometime. Ouch. Oh, there we go. Finally got him. Although I don't know Tundra is going to be able to survive the next turn. Mm, didn't think so. Alright, speed's down. Oh, of course, it's gotta eat. Freaking safer! And Tundra's down. Son of a god. Those darn toxic spikes. Alright, Starlight. Just go and freaking obliterate it, why don't you? Please tell me you can hit it with a thunder. And a whiffed. Crap. Although, I think Discharge is one of those wide moves, so it might, uh, be, might be more likely to hit it. Nope. Ouch. You know, I'm sure if Koga wanted to be a real jerk, he could have gave that thing mean look. Oh, for God's sakes. Come on. Hit hit the darn thing. Thank you. Now it's really slow. Come on. Hit it. Hit it with discharge. 
<laughs> Man, this this Koga's Koga's strategy is really annoying. Starlight couldn't get pull, pull off a freaking hit. Jackwad. Oh man! All right, Wrath, you're up next. You're gonna get poisoned, son of a gun. You got Rock Slide, so that'll be super effective. And of course, it avoided it. Frig I mean, I'm not. I'm. If I gotta battle Koga again, which I'm probably going to do, it's gonna be really annoying because he's probably gonna pull this same strat. Whatever, Crobat's down. Thank God. All right, 1,900 XP. Oh, you have proven your worth. Here is your money. Now get out of my face. I subjected you to everything I could muster, but my efforts failed. I must hold my skills. Go to the next room and put your test abilities to the test. Yeah, yeah, I, I don't need to talk to you again. All right, quick question. Who do I need to cure poisoning? Uh, whoops, wrong button. I have a full heal. Nobody. Wait, yep, no, I, I, I got... Wrath. He's got... And then we gotta... We gotta get everyone else out of the chaos state. So that would be you. And Tundra and Mystic. Alright, all done healing. I don't know why it takes forever to heal my freaking Pokemon. And next we have... Bruno! Who has made his way up one position in the Elite Four. Hmm, <clears throat> I see no fear in you. You look determined. Perfect for battle. Ready, Zydex? You will bow down to our overwhelming power. And I will be completely confused because I have heard that name before. But you do not have his face. Yeah, I have heard that before. Alrighty. Him on top? <sighs> Uh, we got a couple moves we could use here. How about fly? Okay, I'm gonna get it with hit with a quick attack. Whatever, I'm going up high. You can't hit me here. Please don't have... Oh, crap, it's got counter, doesn't it? Uh, yep. Son of a gun. <sighs> Mystic isn't gonna survive that. Nope, because it's gonna be twice the damage. All right, we got Goliath here, who could also use training of his own. So this is kind of kind of gonna suck. Aerial Ace. Oh, screw you too, Bruno. Friggin' safer. Well, how bad is that gonna hurt? Okay. Please tell me I'm just faster now. Oh, not enough. No, of course not. It's gonna. You know what? I hate you. I really do. You guys gotta have the most BS moves. Yet somehow Goliath is alive. But no, sure, yeah. He's gonna hit me with a freaking quick attack. You little twerp. God, these guys are annoying. Alright, we got Tundra next. We have absolutely no advantage on them now. In fact, I'm actually at a disadvantage using Tundra here. As long as I can outspeed them, hopefully I can just hit them hard enough. Alright, that would have been a lot of experience that should have gone to friggin' Goliath, but no! Alright, that's one Pokemon down. Please tell me I can outspeed it. I don't. But hey, whatever, he missed. Thank God. That's a... Whoa! Okay. That was quite a bit of damage he did to himself. Hey, thanks for uh, making making him an easy target there, uh, freaking Bruno. Alright, next we got Hitmonchan. He's gonna, I believe he's gonna have a little bit more defense, so... Well, we got another Earthquake. And I'm actually, yeah, I will outspeed him. Kinda weird. You'd think a boxer would be faster. And... Nope, not quite enough. Ouch. Fire punch. Oh, that's normal. Yeah, that's right, because he's parked ground. But it's going to hurt like crazy. And I'm out of earthquakes now. All 
Alright, I guess he's gonna need some ethers when we get done here. <sighs> Alright, 42. He is now the answer to life. Machamp. You know what? I don't really feel comfortable with him out being out there. How about Starlight? You know, and yeah, I would, that would actually be a better matchup because if I think, if I'm not mistaken, Starlight has pretty good special attack. He has really crappy special defense. So, if we hit him with Thunder... That's right, Starlight. Bring the Thunder! And... Okay, that was, that was pretty good. That was pretty good. Solid hit. I was actually hoping to avoid that, too. I mean, he's going to have a really strong... See, now this is what worries me. I don't know if Thunder is going to miss again, and if I do, that means Starlight's down. Gotta take a risk here. Oh, thank God, it, it hit. Okay, good. Machamp down. Holy crap, this will be a close one. What? Are you kidding me? Oh, you have got to be kidding me. It held on by like one or two HP. What a freaking joke. Son of a gun. And I don't have no idea how fast it is, so the best, the best option we got here is Nile. Son of a gun. Although, if he can act... I, I don't know if he can actually survive the hit. Um, so, you know, I'm, I really do not want to test it. Don't want to see if uh, he can take him out with Hammond. Doesn't matter. We can take him out with Ice Fang. Woo! 1902. Up to 44. Not bad. It took no hits there. Thank God. Look at that XP gain. Alright. Onyx, not bad. Yeah. We can... We got him. Easy out. Fight as hard as you can until you faint. Well, do we hit him with Surf? Uh, how about... How about no? We'll hit him with Avalanche. I'm... All right. I'm gonna pray. Pray that he does not come out. Well, that's a physical move. His... his I just saw Niles' defense pretty good. Okay, so there we go. Good. Avalanche is gonna hit twice as hard now. Please be... Oh, holy crap. Yeah, that health going down. He's out. He's done. He's done. He's done. Yeah, if I start going down that fast, yeah, he's he was done. Although, not as much XP. Whew! Why? How could we lose? Well, thanks for the money. How much do we have, by the way? Having lost, I have no right to say anything. Is he going to do that thing where, again, he goes, eh. Go face your next challenge. Nope. He's not going to be so cringy this time. <laughs> but with that said, guys, I'm going to go ahead and stop here. If you guys like this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below. And I'll be seeing you all in the next video. So thank you very much for watching. May God bless you all. See you in the next one.